Dada? What's up? What's a Hirschsprung disease? Oh, Hirschsprung's disease. That's um, a condition where it's a congenital problem, meaning the baby's born with it. Because in utero, while the baby's developing inside the womb, the nerves that normally innervate or the nerves that normally communicate with the intestines for peristalsis to occur, it doesn't happen. So you have incomplete uh, nerve conduction to the intestinal tract, and then the intestines can't perform peristalsis. What that means is the poop stays in that location, and you develop an ileus, which is an intestinal obstruction. Although this is a functional obstruction, which means it's caused by nerve damage and not a an actual um, uh, what's it called mechanical obstruction. Mechanical would be like a physical thing that's stuck in there, but a functional one means that the way that it functions is being impaired, usually because of the um, nerves that are not innervating. And so the baby's not going to manifest things like projectile vomiting. They're not going to be able to tolerate food well. Every time they consume food, they projectile vomit, and the baby has what you call failure to thrive, which means that they lose a lot of weight. This requires surgical intervention. They have to go inside, they have to open the baby up, or they have to do laparoscopic procedure where the baby's going to have the segment of their intestine, the part that's like paralyzed, the one that's not working well, they're going to have to remove it, and maybe they're going to have to perform a, a some type of a colostomy or an ile ileostomy depending on where the issue is at. On top of that, the baby has to wait some time for the intestinal tract to get bigger so they can perform an astomosis, which is surgical connection of the remaining portion of the intestine. And hopefully that'll allow the baby to have better bowel movements and that'll fix the issue. But that's what Hirschsprung's disease is. Thanks, Dada. Mm -hmm.